one of the things that I love about like the elliptical, for example, is I'll, I'll do it for an extended amount of time. And granted, it's the only time I get to watch my like TV at all. So I love this time. Plus mm-hmm. it's a time where I'm at like the greatest and everybody's different, but that's like one of my peaceful places during the day, yeah. aside from when I go out and pray and stuff, that's my peace zone. Okay. Mm-hmm. And people don't get that. But with the elliptical, it's it's the full body movement, like, you know, and I'm that's a, one good way to help still work arms and legs at the same time. And I've just thrashed my fucking toes and like my knee. I mean, everything's just a fucking mess. And so and I alternate those and it's a it's it's lovely to me. But the point is. When you, I love that you brought up VO2 max. So when you have a higher VO2 max, clearly when you're lifting, you're going to have a higher output. You're going to build muscular yeah. endurance and your fucking ability of output is going to be much higher because like once you get good at cardio and build that VO2 max, I'll tell you this right now, Luke, if I tried to go to the gym without doing all that cardio before, I would have the worst fucking session ever. I would, I wouldn't even want to go. I would feel like a fat piece of shit. I can just tell you, I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but if I didn't have all of that going on before, I don't know what I do at this point. And some some people will think that, oh, I'm drained. No, I'm fucking like ready to go after that. I take a shower because I'm so sweaty and I get in my car and I leave because I have everything at home because I don't like to do cardio around a bunch of fucking people coughing and choking and shit and fucking talking and everything else. But um, I think well, people oh. need to understand is you adapt to what you do. So yeah. when they go, you shouldn't do cardio before you train because it's going to fuck up your workout. If you do cardio before you train consistently, it stops being that that inhibitor of your training program. And the thing is, like when you're doing your cardio before you train, because I do the same thing. Like I would prefer to do if I if I have to do a, a session where I'm doing cardio and weights, I'm going to do the cardio first. Because after my weights, the first thing I'm going to do is I want a protein shake. I want to get yeah. I want to get my my post workout recovery done. And if I'm going to do that too, I'm not hammering cardio. Like I'm, it's a cruisy. If I do 20 minutes, an hour, whatever before I train, it's a cruisy session. It would be if people think that movement like that is going to screw up your workout, then get yourself a wheelchair and wheelchair yourself or one of those little rascals, so you <laughs> don't expend any energy before you train. Right. Because walking is the most aerobic fucking thing you could possibly do. It just doesn't burn anything. It's just like you want to yeah. burn, you want to get the adaptations, you got to do stimulus. So you got to do a higher level. But somebody getting on an elliptical or getting on a bike and just kind of cruising around for an hour, you're not burning that much. You're not going to create a level of fatigue that's not going to let you have a great session. It's absolutely absurd. But again, people just repeat dumb shit that they hear from other people instead of actually trying and seeing what happens. If you saw me on the elliptical, if my, the first time my when I had met my wife, she came and saw me on one and told me I look like the fucking Terminator. Like I go, I go, my miles per hour is always 11 or 12. Like it'll blow your fucking mind. And I do it for 70 minutes straight and I'm like, I'm getting older. So it's starting to wear on me a little bit, but like I built that up though. You know, you I built, it built up. that up. That's the thing. And what you just said about like, because I, 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 people always say, well, I, why do you, why would you not do cardio after? Well, just what you just said, because there's only a certain window after you're done. And I want to, I'm so fucking hungry after I'm done. And I want to make sure I'm, I'll do 20 minutes on the stair climber. And that's like my cool down, even though it's at such a high level. And then I leave, yeah. but that's still in the window. You know what I mean? Like you don't yeah. want to go do an hour or, or, or too much intense cardio when you're done. That defeats the purpose of the lift, right? It, to me, if if you can go do cardio after you lifted, that just shows that you didn't train hard enough. Thank because you. I train hard, man. After I do a training session, there's no way I could do fucking an hour of cardio. So no. I would rather do it before or do it in a separate session. But no. you made a you made a perfect point there. Like you can go really hard when you do the elliptical because you've adapted to it. So yep. it's no longer becoming a bottleneck for you making gains in the gym. Right. It, hundred percent. And that's just it. It's, but that's everything in life. It's not just that it's everything. It's all adaptability. And I think people are, you know what, what it is too, because I'll do that. And I don't know if you do this because you're so structured with your diet, but it's hard for me to let go of something and add something in because it's, Mm. you're, you've adapted to that. Right. And you're there. So, but, but it can be good too, because then like for me, 
I actually look forward to what people would think is absolute hell, you know, but <laughs> my, I, I, I don't know what I do without it. I'm a prick, like just a giant prick. If I miss, you know, it, a, a cardio or like when I, I was sick or whatever, it's just like, you don't want to be around me because my body needs it, yeah. you know, and that's part mental too, but what's people, funny, it, what's funny is like you, you, you had a locker next to Jay Cutler's. Okay. One of the, one of the goats of bodybuilding. And yeah. if you look at what he's, he's like, he does his cardio. Okay. Yes. Success leaves clues. Arnold did his cardio. Franco Colombo did his cardio. Frank Zane did his cardio. They all went jogging. They all, and they had high labor jobs. Like Franco and Arnold were bricklayers. Like they didn't, at no point did they think, well, this is going to fuck up my gains in the gym. They went to the gym. They no excuses. Train their fucking nuts off. Right. right. So it's like, no, we, we've got this namby pamby world where people are that fatigue is a big one. Fatigue management. Everyone is so scared of fatigue management. They're doing like 10 fucking reps in reserve and like basically their entire workouts, a warm up session. And then they're scared of doing cardio because of fatigue. It's like, you know what? You know how you eliminate fatigue? Get in fucking shape. That's how you eliminate fatigue. Siri, that is it. Stop being a bitch and get in shape. I that's think it. that's all that needs to be said. 